This era began in September 11th. I witnessed September 11th from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, which was a day I will never forget, as I'm sure people around the world will never forget. And we're still, I think, in this target and destroy mode, which is a physical threat emerged from a location. We're going to hunt down those perpetrators and eliminate them, but we have not supported our forces and our military leaders by accompanying that war with an ideological war that should have been parallel beginning 15 years ago, if not before. If we redact words like Islam or Islamism, the narrative belongs all of a sudden to the Islamist. We have lost the narrative. Ahmed and Jasser agree that since 9-11, American leaders from both parties have been unwilling to identify the ideology driving violent extremist groups such as Al-Qaeda and ISIS. They say these groups are tied to Islam, but more importantly, they are rooted in Islamism. I think the distinction between Islam and Islamism is, is the most important distinction of the 21st century because one is a faith practice. Islamism is a political totalitarian ideology. It masquerades as Islam, but it really is 20th century in manufacture and man-made. It was developed in modern-day Egypt in the 1920s by thinkers that were incarcerated by the authorities at the time, and it has all the hallmarks of any classic totalitarianism is. But I find it's much more dangerous than many totalitarianisms we have known. We think of communism or, much more darkly, in some ways, Nazism. I think it's so important to look at all this as one problem rather than so many different ones because you'll never solve it unless you simplify it. All those groups, Hezbollah, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Khomeinists, the common stream that they drink from is the supremacist doctrine that the Islamic State is their goal and that Islamic law must be put into place by force and that ultimately they are God. Until we Muslims extract theocracy from the legal interpretations of our scripture and the sayings of the prophet that's gonna to continue to be a trough from which they feed.